Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog on a topic inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is do you use any book sites other than Goodreads? Now I did have a longer talk on this subject recorded but my webcam was acting up so the first four times it came out utterly desynchronized, pixelated or so on. I think the webcam is working now, but I'm a little bit frazzled, so this is going to be slightly shorter than I intended. But getting to the meat of it, I use book sites for three reasons. As an author, as social media and as someone seeking recommendations in a general sense. What I don't use them for is someone speak, seeking a recommendation at this particular moment. So firstly, as an author, there are two types of book sites. Those that pull all of their information from another database using the Amazon product number or an ISBN or such, and those where an author can or is expected to curate their book data. So I use a number of sites where users or the limited subset of author users can add book records so that I can make sure that all of the variant covers, the book descriptions, additional content such as unboxing videos and so on are added to the site as quickly as possible and changes are reflected as quickly as possible. But those sites mostly I use for the admin side and not for any other purpose. Secondly, uh, as social media, I don't have much time for social media. If I had more time in the day, I might be in more social media places. But my primary social media is Google Plus with a little bit of Twitter. I'm not on Facebook at all. I'm not on LinkedIn at all. I have a blog, but I don't go out there actively promoting it and guest posting. So my approach to the social side of book sites is much the same. I don't have time to be on five or six separate book sites in a lot of detail. So I confine myself to mostly Goodreads on the basis that Goodreads was the first book site I signed up to. So I'll stay with that rather than for any value judgment about it being better or worse than another book site that offers social media. Um, my third usage of recommendation engine. Getting personal recommendations from someone you know or reading a long and detailed review is obviously a great way to find books that you'll like and to get the nuances of whether or not you'll like a book. But most book sites work on the rate this book from one to five or from didn't like at all to loved it and then we'll aggregate if you really liked this book we'll look at who else really liked this book and if we find that you really liked a couple of books that this person really liked we'll recommend other books that they really liked and the same with genres and subject matter and such but that doesn't really necessarily fit. And with my friends, I like some of the books they like. I don't like some of the other books they like because it's a Venn intersection. 
where we cross on some things but not on others. And so I prefer a more nuanced recommendation, which I found with Literata, which instead of having the one rate from zero to five stars, has 20 or so criteria. So as well as whether overall you thought the book was worth the time you spent reading it or not, there's quality of editing, pacing, intensity, level of horror, and divided out from level of horror, level of violence, level of mystery, level of romance, level of comedy, whether the book was inspiring, motivating, perspective expanding, whether the information in it was factually helpful. So you can pick what do I feel like reading? Well, I feel like reading something scary, but I don't want it to be splatterpunk, Quentin Tarantino, Eli Roth style chainsaws dropping onto beautiful young people horror. I want something more intellectual. So I'll look for books with a horror of 60 and higher, but gore and violence of 30 and lower, maybe some mystery of 30 or higher, intensity and pacing in the sort of mid-range and up. And then that narrows the list down a lot to the point where I actually have the time to read in-depth written reviews where there are some. Now, what I don't do is use it as a, I'm in a bookstore, I need to find a book, or I wonder if I'll enjoy this book, because I don't have a mobile phone, so I can't actually look at book sites while standing next to the shelves. And even where the library or a bookstore offers free internet access through a computer on site, the effort of shuttling back and forth between their computer and the shelves is high enough that usually I'll rely on memory or if it's something obscure that I want to go looking for, make a note on a piece of paper. So for me, book sites are very much an at-home thing rather than an out in the world, social media, Facebook for book lovers sort of thing. Well, hopefully this has recorded without going wonky, so toodaloo.